The purpose of this video is to show you how to install uh, sprockets into the 3D manual clutch basket. So here we have a uh, 12 tooth sprocket and then one of the clutch baskets that come with the 3D manual clutch. So one thing I need to mention is that we get all of our sprockets from a company called SMC. They make centrifugal racing clutches for go-karts and uh, we use their sprockets um, in our uh, 3D manual clutch and we can supply sprockets uh, from 12 teeth on up in both number 35 pitch and 428 pitch and we are currently planning on um, offering sprockets in the 40 and 41 pitches as well. So the first thing you want to do is open up the sprocket, pull the sprocket out of the bag. You'll notice that the OD of the sprocket is threaded and that matches the threads on the bore of the clutch basket. So what happens is this is able to screw in to the basket and it uses it uses left-handed threads, which means that uh, you have to turn the sprocket counterclockwise for it to tighten into the clutch basket. The reason that is is because under normal acceleration, the torque from the engine is constantly acting to tighten the sprocket and keep and it prevents it from loosening. So the first thing you want to do is hand tighten the sprocket. Um, doesn't have to be too tight, but you want to seat it. And then what we do is take a uh, shop rag, put it into a vise, if you have a vise, and then position the basket and just loosely grab onto the teeth using the bas using the vise. Doesn't have to be too hard. And then all we do is take it, hold hold onto the basket using your hands, and tighten it as much as you can by hand. If you're the amount that you can torque it by hand by holding under the basket is sufficient to uh, get you going. Uh, the first time that you get on the bike and you accelerate, uh, it will tighten the sprocket um, in the clutch basket to the appropriate uh, torque level. So that's all there is to it, to uh, install the uh, SMC Vortex Red Sprocket into a 3D manual clutch basket. Uh, taking the sprocket out is identical. You just do it in reverse and replace it with whatever sprocket you want. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.